is Thursday, October 8th, 2015, and unlike yesterday, I am going to dive back into StarCraft today. But first, I um, wanted to talk briefly, I'm not sure this has come up, uh, this is something that Mr. Chang and I talked about on uh, Monday before the servers came back up when we were playing. I think it's important to mention sort of what I am focusing on and what I'm not focusing on right now, because especially in a game as complex and as fast-paced as StarCraft, there's a limit to sort of how much information your brain can handle at a time. So, I'm trying to focus on the basics, um, and the basics and the fundamentals, because, well, they're basics and fundamentals, you know, in short, and I, I, that's... That's where you gotta start. You gotta start this game with good macro. Because if the game goes longer than five minutes, your macro, your base management, those skills all have to be sharp, or you'll just starve to death to the better player who does have better macro and base management. So what I'm working on, the things that I'm focusing on doing, pylons and probes, constantly making probes, not getting supply blocked. That's number one. Second is executing an early harassment attack. You've seen me do it with the seven adepts. I'm trying to get better at it. The reason behind this is it forces me to work on a specific build and to do things to support that build. And you, you just need... You need some kind of strategy, right, to, to win. And so that's mine. And I've said this before, is I'm going to try and do an early harass attack. One of the things I'm going to try to start working on is still having my units alive after that attack. That if I'm not going to win, I do my damage, I load up in the uh, warp prism and I get out of there. If that doesn't cripple my opponent to the point that he concedes, then I have an attack probably around the 8 to 10 minute mark that's um, a gateway push supported by Immortals. And then from there I'm going to move up to Templar Archives, Robo Bay, and try to win that way. It's a basic strategy, but it doesn't need to be too complicated right now. Another thing I'm focusing on is trying to work on keeping all of my buildings active at a time. I originally wasn't focused on this because I didn't think it was a fundamental. It was like, oh, I gotta, I gotta get the money first and then learn how to spend it. But I'm trying to focus on it now for a couple of reasons. One of which is, um, it's important when working on a build to know what you can and can't afford. And the barrier of what you can't afford... What I mean by can't afford is if you make a building, you should be using it. And if you're not using it, then you're either forgetting about it, which gives you the illusion of having more resources, i.e. minerals and gas, than you actually should, because your macro is bad. Or you can't use it because you don't have those resources, and then you couldn't afford it. So, I'm, I'm trying to keep the warp gate cycling, definitely keep the nexuses, nexi, nexuses, always making probes, and um, if I build a, a tech structure, like a forge or a twilight council, to actually have an upgrade going in it. And all of that, sort of the last thing I'm working on, is keeping my resources low because resources that are piling up are resources that aren't being used. It's kind of paradoxical with StarCraft. You want as many resources, at, you want as much income as possible coming in, but as low stockpiles as possible. Kind of like uh, just-in-time manufacturing processes in the real world. You want a lot coming in and a lot going out, but you want your inventory to be low, because that's what you have to pay taxes on. 
So things that I'm not working on, I'm, I'm really not paying much attention to Chrono Boosts right now, um, simply because I think that's a small edge that, basically, that I can ignore. I'm not really focusing on my micromanagement at all. You'll note that it's terrible, and I totally agree. My micromanagement's terrible. But that's not as important as the basics, which is the macro management. I'm not really focusing on scouting too hard. basically want to wipe my opponent out in a big attack. And if I don't do that, then I try again. I'm not trying to be too fancy with, oh, it's my opponent at this expansion, or this expansion, or this expansion. I'm doing a little of that, but I'm not really focusing on it. I'm not berating myself if I don't get that. I'm not cheering mightily if I do. It's just, if I do, great. If I don't, great. Um, I'm not really focusing on the late game. Um, my main concerns are sort of in the first 10 to 12 minutes of the game. I think I said that on Monday when I was doing Monday Night StarCraft. Uh, I'm not focusing on gateway units. I'm sorry, on Stargate units. Um, not really focusing on air attacks, or too much on air defenses, other than, eh, build some stalkers. Um, simply, literally a dimension that I'm just not quite ready for. I mean, if I'm playing a Zerg player and they're like, oh, mass mutalisk, then like, okay, sure, I'll build a Stargate and a bunch of Phoenix. I'm not trying to do air harass, and I'm not trying to do, uh, like, big push with pushes with carriers or tempests or something. Um, and the last thing is I'm not really focusing on changing up my build based on the race that I'm playing. I feel like I need to be comfortable enough in a single build to not make per-race adjustments, though this is probably the first thing in the list of stuff that I'm not working on, then I'm going to be changing over to the list of stuff that I am working on. So having said all of that rambly rambliness, let's get into a game. And I even have my mouse settings correct. I am so proud. Have, uh, about one month until the uh, the game comes out. Like I see, the void actually launches with all of its glory and all of its horror. To quote Wings of Liberty. Um, see then what this bronze really is. Nothing would please me more than to somehow magically get into silver before that happens. Okay, I'm playing Zerg, and for once, someone who's Probably about as skilled as I am. Huzzah. One thing against the Zerg player that I'm going to do with my drop, I'm going to change up my tactic a little bit, is I'm going to put my Warp Prism just a shade away from his expansion and try and build from there. And... might focus a little more on stalkers than adepts in my unit composition building, etc. But stalkers are more expensive, so we'll have to see how that goes. Maybe for the actual drop I'll do stalkers, but for the um, initial production I'll do adepts. Oh, 
I didn't play yesterday, so I'm slightly out of practice. Shall persevere. Alright, this is the fourth attempt coming. Research complete. As soon as that's done and those are warped in. Let your glory to the day long. Expand on this attack. Yes, exactly. <laughs>
smarted me, so I guess he should. I can't believe I even said if he makes a lot of mutalisks. Terrible. So I guess I did make 87 workers. just got countered. Needed either Stalkers or Phoenix. <sighs> Alright, well, that's that. Gotta... Gotta take it and learn from it. Mm. Gotta do that. In the meantime... I really shouldn't, because, again, I'm starting to run late for work, but... Let's at least see what the new quests are. Ooh, sound. Why is my sound off? 
Priest, Warlock, three with any class. Yay, Mickey Mouse quests. <clears throat> I, um, well, no, really shouldn't, not today, not today, so, uh, sorry for the, uh, back and forth, but I'm gonna leave you all here for now, and I'll see you all tomorrow.